Betelgeuse, the red giant star on the edge of our galaxy, is sending alarming signals through space. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have found something deeply troubling about this colossal object. Well-known scientist Brian Cox has issued a very serious warning. The question that keeps coming up is, are we about to witness a supernova explosion so huge that it will change the night sky forever? Let's jump right in. In the vastness of the universe, stars are born, live, and die in amazing ways. Recently, one star has caught the attention and concern of both astronomers and the general public. This star is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant that stands out in the constellation Orion. It is very big and very old. Its unique reddish color and changing brightness have long fascinated observers, but recent events have heightened interest in this cosmic giant. As we learn more about Betelgeuse, we are on the verge of a potentially monumental event in its history. But what might these changes in Betelgeuse mean? Are we seeing the start of a cosmic show on an unimaginably grand scale? Betelgeuse is a stellar giant about 764 times larger than our Sun. It's so massive that if it were to replace our Sun, its surface would extend beyond Mars' orbit, encompassing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This immense size not only highlights Betelgeuse's physical grandeur but also indicates its stage in the stellar life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. It is expanding and cooling during this phase, which follows the conversion of hydrogen into helium in its core. What about Betelgeuse's age? This star is estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old, which is relatively young in human terms but ancient in the context of stellar lifespans. Over millions of years, it has transformed dramatically from a hot blue star to the red giant we see today. Now in its final stage as a red supergiant, Betelgeuse's life story is reaching a pivotal moment. Stars like Betelgeuse change over their lifetimes due to the constant pressures of nuclear fusion and gravity. Another aspect that makes Betelgeuse stand out is its unique reddish color. This red hue comes from its cooler surface compared to stars like our Sun. The surface of the Sun is about 5,500 Kelvin, while Betelgeuse's surface is around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light at wavelengths that appear red to us. But this color isn't just about appearance, it reveals the star's physical state and the processes occurring within its vast gaseous volume. The fact that Betelgeuse's color has changed over time adds to its mystery. Historical records from Roman and Chinese eras indicate that Betelgeuse was yellow about 2,000 years ago. By the 9th century, Arabic astronomers noted it was red. This color shift over human history is not just a minor scientific fact but also evidence of the star's evolution. Another intriguing characteristic of Betelgeuse is its very variable brightness. As a semi-regular variable star, its brightness fluctuates on a periodic basis. This dance of brightness has fascinated scientists and skywatchers for centuries. Usually, Betelgeuse undergoes a 400-day cycle and a longer 5-year cycle. Sir John Herschel documented these cycles as early as 1836, and Aboriginal folklore may contain references to them that go back even further. However, what truly makes Betelgeuse mysterious is its occasional deviation from this pattern. Unlike many stars that dim and brighten predictably, Betelgeuse sometimes behaves erratically, suggesting complex and less understood processes at work within its vast form. Recently, astronomers and stargazers worldwide were shocked by Betelgeuse's dramatic and unexpected dimming. This event, now known as the Great Dimming, began in late 2019. Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of Orion, started to lose its light at an alarming rate. By February 2020, it was at its dimmest. Betelgeuse, usually visible to the naked eye even in light-polluted areas, became much fainter, and even casual observers noticed the change. However, the time paradox complicates monitoring Betelgeuse's activities. Because light takes time to travel to us, we see Betelgeuse not as it is now, but as it was in the past. The light we see today left the star almost 700 years ago because it is about 725 light-years away. This time lag makes it hard to predict and observe quick changes in its behavior. The Betelgeuse dimming event was a reminder of how challenging it is to observe the sky in real time and how little we know about the vast, strange worlds of space and time. Andrea Dupree, deputy director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team closely watched the events of Betelgeuse's celestial drama. As part of a three-year study to track changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere, they used Hubble to observe the huge star. These observations provided new insights into how a variable star like Betelgeuse works. Variable stars regularly expand and contract, causing changes in their brightness. Researchers were able to look into the layers above the star's surface, heated in part by the star's swirling convection cells, thanks to Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light. 
Further study of the Hubble spectra taken at different times in 2019 and 2020 helped determine the velocity of material in Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere. The spectra, mainly composed of magnesium, revealed the star's atmospheric conditions. The studies showed that material was moving from the star's surface into its atmosphere at about 200,000 miles per hour. This hot, dense material eventually reached millions of miles from Betelgeuse, initiating the dust cloud that dimmed the star during the three months of the outburst. Dupree and her team estimated that about twice as much material as usual was ejected from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere. While all stars lose mass over time, Betelgeuse's mass loss was particularly notable due to its rapid rate compared to the sun's. Astronomers speculated whether this event could be a precursor to a supernova explosion. Given the magnitude of the mass release and subsequent dimming, being only about 725 light-years away from Earth, any such explosion would be visible from our planet, offering a rare chance to observe a supernova up close. However, the question remains, what does this dimming mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign that a supernova is imminent, or is it just a transient event in the star's complex life? Several theories have been proposed to explain this rapid change. One popular theory suggests it might be a stage in the supernova explosion process, given that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Another theory posits that dust, possibly ejected by the star itself, could be obstructing our view. Betelgeuse and other red supergiants are known to shed material, which could accumulate into a dust cloud thick enough to block the star's light. A third theory considers changes in the star's photosphere, the visible outer layer, which might affect its apparent brightness. Spectroscopic studies showed that Betelgeuse's effective temperature dropped, suggesting the presence of a large dark spot on its surface. This temperature decreased by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming supported this idea, indicating significant changes on the star's surface. Ultimately, the Hubble Space Telescope, humanity's vigilant observer in space, helped unravel this strange event. Hubble's observations indicated that Betelgeuse's dimming was likely due to a massive ejection of hot material into space. This material formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star's surface, reducing the light reaching us. It was hypothesized that the dust cloud was made of very hot plasma erupted from a large convection cell on the star's surface and moved through its hot atmosphere to cooler outer layers. As it cooled, it formed dust grains, creating a cloud that blocked light from about a quarter of the star's surface. So what does this mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign that a supernova is about to happen, or just a fascinating chapter in the star's long, complex life? Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic studies, which began in January 2019, played a crucial role in understanding the events that led to Betelgeuse's dimming. These studies showed signs of dense, hot matter moving through the star's atmosphere. Several ground-based telescopes also observed the star's dimming in December 2019, especially in its southern half. Initially, this ejected material was brighter than the star itself, but as it moved outward and cooled, it formed a dark cloud. The prevailing idea is that this outflowing matter and the resultant dark cloud caused the sudden dimming of the star. This massive ejection is significant, positioning Betelgeuse at the center of astronomical studies. The star expelled about 400 billion times the mass typically ejected during a normal coronal mass ejection. This ejected material, weighing several times as much as the moon, provides significant insights into stellar processes and Betelgeuse's behavior. But what does such a massive explosion of matter mean for our understanding of Betelgeuse and supernovas in general? It has profound implications for theories about supernovas. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are believed to lose mass at a steady rate before they explode at the end of their lives. However, the magnitude of this ejection challenges that idea, suggesting a more turbulent and possibly unpredictable end-of-life scenario for the stars. Could Betelgeuse be gearing up for its grand finale, a supernova explosion, in a few thousand years? New studies speculate that this event might occur sooner than previously thought, possibly within a few hundred thousand years. As astronomers continue to analyze Betelgeuse's activities, they might find further clues indicating how far away this supernova event is. The sudden mass ejection and the resulting dark cloud could indicate that Betelgeuse's internal processes are accelerating toward a supernova explosion. Despite being about 725 light-years away, this potential explosion will be a spectacle visible to the naked eye from Earth, even during the day. If it explodes, Betelgeuse's supernova will provide an unprecedented opportunity for astronomers to study such events up close, offering insights into stellar evolution, supernova mechanisms, and the creation of heavy elements in the universe. Betelgeuse, now dimmer due to the expelled material, continues to draw interest.
This stellar giant's life cycle and its recent behavior underscore the dynamic and often surprising nature of our universe, where even the most seemingly stable objects can undergo rapid and dramatic transformations.